Hey everyone, I'm here at the UT Diving Well and I'm about to get in and do some diving. Um, as you can see, the top tower right here is only 10 meters high. So as a high diver, we all train in pools like this. And what we do is we take our dives and we break them down into little parts. Um, and then we just train these parts when we're not able to do a high dive. We also visualize our dives um, and get that visual memory and also the like the body awareness of, of doing the dive over and over again. And with these two components, we're able to train this during our off season until we have the opportunity to be able to do a high dive again. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to break down my back triple pike and I'm gonna show you all the little parts that I trained specifically for that dive. And my friend and fellow cliff diver, David Colturi, is gonna help with some videoing and um, just explaining the process a little bit more. Here's the back triple. It's back three somersaults in the pike position. The first two somersaults are closed pike and the last one is a more flying position. Here's the takeoff, wrapping in for the first somersault, staying in for the second somersault. There's the come out, here's the fly, lining it up and there's the entry. I'll be explaining these parts and how to train for each of them in the rest of the video. Jess here is going to demonstrate a backflip pike. This is the first drill you're going to use to build up to eventually her beautiful back triple. Very nice. Arms through, strong jump. Good slam into that pike to create flip. Same takeoff no matter where you're at. Now to the platform. So now Jess is going to do that same backflip pike that she did on the mats and she's going to do it on the one meter platform looking for that same takeoff good flip and connection. All right, now Jess is on the five meter. She's gonna do a back double pike. Same takeoff and an extra somersault, finding her orientation in the air. These are the first and second somersaults out of the three somersaults in the back triple. All right, so now that we've got the speed and the takeoff down, now we're gonna get the come out and the lineup. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the double. That was for takeoff and speed. Now she's going to do a back double on 10 meter. This is for the come out and the lineup for the last part of the dive. Breaking down each part individually, training them from 10 meters, getting them ready for 20 meters. These are the second and third somersaults out of the three somersaults in the back triple. Now Jess is heading up to 10 meter for the very final part of the dive going to practice a little bit of the come out and she'll get a long 10 meter fly down towards the water just for the entry. I really like to visualize my high dives at every practice. This helps me create the experience of doing a high dive when I don't have the opportunity to be able to get up on a high dive and it also makes me really prepared and comfortable whenever I do get up on a high dive again. Then when I get on a high dive again, I've practiced all the parts, I've practiced the fine details, the technique, I've visualized the dive and I've become comfortable with doing it over and over again mentally. And so when I get up on a high dive again, I feel comfortable and prepared and I just put all the parts together and there you go. Yes I do. Coming out nice and early for the dive. And there's the most relieving moment when you finally see the water. That's the biggest fear of losing your orientation in the air. So that moment.